the soul right now. <laughs> so um, my dad's actually in Korea right now, which is really, really weird. Like it just feels odd having these two different worlds kind of like merged together. It kind of feels like when you go somewhere and then you live there and then it just seems like in your head and in your like perception of time that time stopped. You know what I'm thinking about? Like, and then when I come back to Denmark in the Christmas times, it feels like, oh, now time in Denmark is resuming, but everything in Korea is paused. Like, it's kind of the feeling like the center, you're the center of the universe <laughs> in a sense. So like having these two different like worlds merge together, it's just, it's just really weird, but it's really fun. And I'm very, very excited for this week. Actually, he's already been here for a couple of days. <laughs> As I said in the beginning, the weather has changed so much here in Korea. It's just gotten really damn cold in the evenings, but the temperature change has really like affected my skin a lot. I feel such a, I don't know, I have very combination skin, but tendency to the dry side. And in the winter times that gets really bad. Like I get super dry skin. So I'm transitioning into thicker creams and more deeply nourishing products right now. That said, I want to introduce you to today's sponsor. <laughs> Kinda is one of my favorite brands in Korea, which is why you're probably recognizing the products right now. Um, I've also before gone public and said it is the most beautiful brand I've ever seen and um, I'm still standing by that. <laughs> Actually, I was matching it in today just, you know, just to be extra on brand. <laughs> This brand is a staple part of my routine, which is why you're also finding it in my beauty box that I created with Bazal. I just really generally love this brand and it has some, if not the most interesting ingredients that I've ever seen in any beauty brand. First is the Combo Balancing Ampule Toner. This is the one that I've been using for forever and I think I've gone through at least more than six bottles, to be honest. It was recently featured in Vogue British Magazine and I think that's pretty cool. It definitely deserves its spot there. There is a very clear reason why I've been using this for so long and that is that it is the most suitable to my skin in whatever stage that is in. It has 60% fermented kombucha made from green tea grown on Jeju Island and this ingredient is like a super unique, it has healing and calming benefits to the skin, which is why I love it, especially when I'm dry and irritated or if I'm having a little bit of breakouts. This is the Chaga Collagen Serum. It has 70% of chaga mushroom extract and that's a fantastic anti-aging ingredient giving you really deep vitality and, you know, contributing to that inner glow that just looks amazing on your skin. The natural vegan collagen and the jojoba oil is pretty much just, you know, giving you this all around really, really versatile palette of ingredients for you. This is the vegan collagen youth cream. <laughs> this product is 50% of snow mushroom extract, which is a lot, and that can give you up to 500 times as much moisture to the skin than the weight of this product. And that is also achieved with eight different versions of hyaluronic acid, which is probably one of the best ingredients it comes to when you want to achieve this like deeper layers of hydration. Again, like look at how beautiful it is. I can't get over it. <laughs> You can find Kaina down in the description box below. So thank you to Kaina for sponsoring this segment of the video. Now I will see you when I'm outside because we're having a Korea themed day where we're gonna, you know, see lots of traditional things in Seoul with my dad. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to that restaurant that Angelina and I found here a um, couple of weeks ago and it was so good and my first thought was that I had to bring my dad there when he comes so that's that's the plan that's where we're going oh so chippy <laughs> Hi. 
My favorite. It's so good here. <laughs> uh huh. I've kind of been looking forward to this since Angelina and I was here because it was so good. <laughs> And then walk over to um, my absolute favorite cafe. <laughs> this street in Sadong is kind of like the old paper making street in Korea. It's very, very touristy. There's usually lots of like little food booths or yummy things <laughs> that you can buy, and lots of traditional like craft stuff from Korea. So we thought it would be a good place to look around for a gift that my dad wanna get. It's kind of annoying having my dad walk around with Jake. They had dinner together yesterday and they're kind of like forming a little team together which is really frustrating because it's like two against one now. They like each other a little too much, I think. <laughs> this kind of thing oh there is the chakras mm. on this mm. we've made it to Iksando gorgeous cafe area <laughs> it's kind of like a must to show my dad I think and Jake hasn't really been here much either so it's good I feel like I'm kind of showing them both around because Jake is so not cultural have you been here before, baby? Never in my whole life. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Oh my boy. <laughs> <laughs> to book dinner at this insanely amazing looking restaurant that's kind of like fusion Danish with Asian mainly Korean food and I don't know how we managed to get a reservation but we're gonna go there later today but first um, the Sun is setting right now sadly but we really want to check out the Galleria area um, in Samcheongdong which my dad he's a big fan of arts and classical music and all of that kind of stuff <laughs> So yeah, but it's so amazing, like the weather is fresh and beautiful and the moods is good. I'm happy. And then look at these two. Uh yes that way, that road. So the owner of this restaurant is half Danish, half Korean apparently. And um, 
it's very <laughs> it was just a very fitted place to bring my dad i think <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking over to the camera and then you're sitting like this. <laughs> oh, I would love to go to yeah, Australia especially. <laughs> I'm actually hungover today <laughs> and I think Jake and my dad is hungover as well <clears throat> yesterday we went out together with the girls together with Robin and her husband Chad and Stephanie and Songbin and we were partying in Itaewon together I don't think I've ever partied with my dad in my life before we took him out for dinner and then we moved on to bowling and then we moved on to karaoke Sorry, I have a hiccup. <laughs> Am I drunk? <laughs> no. Um, and then we moved on to karaoke, was what I was about to say. And then <laughs> one of my favorite bars. Um, and then we went home. But today is actually my dad's last day. We are heading to Seoul Forest area, Songsu. It's just amazing weather outside right now. And I feel like Seoul Forest is also a must to see within Seoul. And it's one of my favorite places. <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea why I have a hiccup. So I'm gonna drink my Earl Grey tea and get ready, take a shower, and head out for a calm day in song suits. <laughs> I'll see you when I'm out, guys. Oh. There is a ton of people today at the street. I feel like I usually come here on the weekdays, so there's not so many people. Oh wow! It's absolutely perfect weather for a stroll around Seoul Forest, and I've also like very specifically looked forward to the cinnamon bun <laughs> we can get. Oh, like I'm salivating just by thinking of it. Mm. It's kind of sad that I moved away. <laughs> it's a little bit far away from Seoul Forest. It's just so peaceful here. And it's like the scenery changes a little bit every year. I think they, they change it around a bit. So it feels like coming to a new place, depending on which season you're here as well. Okay. Immaculate. Gorgeous. Baby, you said you've never been here? I feel like I'm showing you around a lot here. <laughs> uh, part of here. <laughs> a part of the tourist. <laughs> Let me go on without you. Let me go on without you. Let me go on without you. Let me go on. Ta -ta. Ta -da -ta -da. You know how like there is something called cuteness aggression? Like if something is very cute, you just want to like, uh, squeeze it. No. I have cinnamon bun aggression. <laughs> mm. Excuse me. My dad left a couple of days ago um, and Jake and I, we spent the whole Sunday just literally doing absolutely nothing. 
I think I laid in the sofa all day and he laid in bed. I was just playing Kenshin for like eight, nine hours. It's crazy. But it's really kind of what I needed and he needed. Um, I love my dad and it was an absolute amazing week. But it also takes a ton of energy, you know, to be on all the time. And also because I have a difficult time with my brain to like half work, half be off. So I took the full week just fully off. And at the back of my mind, I was kind of stressed all the time because I saw emails coming in, but there was just this block in me that stopped me from even opening them because I don't know, like this, like, it was just a little hard for me. I don't know what kind of mental block that was, but yesterday, Monday, I finally like sat down get to the bottom of everything and it feels so good. I love this cleansing feeling. Yeah, but today I'm back to filming a little bit and going out and you know, being on my own again, which is amazing. Sorry if you can hear Jake laughing and talking in the background, he's in a meeting. It's Halloween next weekend and I have no idea what I wanna be. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, like, what can I even be? I'm thinking maybe I want to be a witch or something, but I'm going out with Stephanie right now to figure out a costume situation. Um, yeah, that's the plan today. But I have a ton of stuff to drop off at her house first. So I'm just gonna head over there first. I'll see you at Stephanie's place. You are this far away. <laughs> Apparently, Stephanie's um, Korean teacher said that there should be some kind of like costume shopping situation over there. I think we're gonna head out for some lunch first. I think you're so good at talking to like the camera. <laughs> Jakey says I have a YouTube voice. Really? Yeah. Okay, we found, like after being very confused in this market, this looks like a Halloween store. I hope they have... I think it's more like... I would chat. The little, little cute has... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh my god, what is that? Ew. <gasps> well, if you want to make it slutty... <laughs> Good lodging. Oh my god. We could make that work. I don't think my waist could fit into that and definitely not in my boobs. We could be like Cinderella and like should we be like zombie princesses? <laughs> you and your bloody zombie. I'm like anything, just zombie. Maybe just to be sure we could get like a witch hat. Just to be safe. Yeah. This looks like a store that they just like 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 at party store. Mm. This is an, an an angel. <laughs> October It seems so far out of I'm not broken But who else could I be in a time like this? Good morning guys. I found this really cute, almost like residential looking old renovated hallook. It's not that renovated to be honest. It's very nice and authentic to have um, a little lunch alone in today. I'll be heading to an event by Beauty of Chosun because they're finally having a pop-up store. You guys always ask about where you can buy Beauty of Chosun products inside of Korea, physical. And um, I'm gonna show you today. It's pretty exciting, I can't wait. But first, I am, um, I've officially started the whole like client work in the coaching industry, which is very exciting. And I'm working on a website, so I'm kind of like in the process of buying a domain name, which is, nerve-wracking but really exciting so that's the plan for today
Oh my god, this looks so nice. No way, this looks so cool. Oh, congratulations. Oh my god, And June is here. It's been so long. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> when we did the Kwanza together with Beauty of Chosen, you guys sold it out within like, what was it, like 45 minutes? <laughs> and we couldn't restock, but Beauty of Chosen has like restocked and made their own Kwanza. It's the same shape as mine, so you can get that off their website now. This one is really cute too. I mean, I didn't really make anything else than these two knots, but that's so cute. This is cute. After I'm so good.